Should. Eat. Don't eat that. Welcome back to another episode of Should Eat, the series where we talk about things that should exist but don't, and things that do exist but shouldn't. Today's topic is restaurants. Now, Zach is going to tell us what restaurant should exist but doesn't yet. All right. The restaurant that I came up with was, imagine a food court, but not a food court because those are dusty and dirty and grimy and disgusting, right? Right. Bad. You want a sit-down style restaurant um, that has all of the options. So you have this building and it, it's segmented into to different things and you go and you sit down in whatever themed environment you so choose to sit in. You open up your menu, which has a very high quality selection from each of the various um, dining possibilities, things like, you know, an upper scale American restaurant, um, you know, like a steakhouse or something. And Definitely you, sushi too. Yeah, yeah, you got your Japanese steakhouse as well. Right. So you got your sushi there and then you got your Italian and all this other stuff. Um, but the mood and setting can be different depending on um, which area of this restaurant you choose to go to, oh. as well as your menu. You know, that would be really cool. But it's all one shop. So one person wants sushi, one person wants steak, one person wants lasagna. They can all have it. And I, I just don't know why nobody does that in like a sit down, very formal way. Right. I mean, that'd be really cool. You ask your girl what she wants to eat. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to ask her what she wants to eat anymore. <laughs> you just walk in and just tell her to choose the table. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. That's Hence a good idea. why the name of said restaurant should be, I don't know, something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. No, not seriously. That shouldn't be the name. But yes, know. somebody should, <laughs> yeah, somebody should do it. Like, it would fit in Vegas. Like, honestly, like, right. that just, would fit in a Vegas casino hotel restaurant setting. Yeah. Imagine all the smells. It must be <laughs> in there, though, with all the smells of all the different places. That would be, that would be fun. I would go. So what is a restaurant that exists, but totally, well, shouldn't? All right. So what shouldn't have ever existed, but no longer does, luckily. Oh, good. <laughs> is the Magic Restroom Cafe. Like toilets. Like toilets. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So this is... <laughs> so apparently, in Japan, Restroom cafes are actually kind of a normal thing. Yeah. But yeah. this guy, or, but this was the first restroom themed cafe in the United States, and it was in New York City. Aside from this place being decorated to look like a restroom, this is a, sh you can see the shower head over the table, <laughs> and there's another wall with urinals and uh, the bar. Oh, no, it's the bar that has urinals along oh, it. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's bad enough. But then you have the food. And the food is served in these <clears throat> uh, toilet bowls, of course. And so that, that was the ice cream. But like, this is like onion soup and then there's yeah, other things. And it's just this terrible, terrible idea that Japanese people seem to enjoy. Yeah, it's interesting that you say say Japan because um, they have like these ice cream parlor things where they have like little toilet bowl shaped cones and then mm. they put chocolate ice cream that has various other toppings and things in it. And it's like ridiculously popular. Yeah. But one thing that's bothering me with this, I don't, I don't know if it's bothering me or not bothering me. The fact <laughs> that they have custom made toilet <laughs> dishes instead of, it's like, did they use a, a never used shallow bowl toilet as their banquet thing? Or do they custom, it, all of it's just an affront to existence and shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> it definitely shouldn't be a thing. I wouldn't enjoy eating here. Mm. I would like to see it though, <laughs> just to stick my head in and be like, well, pretty sure they're shut down now. Yeah. So that will never be something I'll have to worry about. But uh, good to know that you can still find these kinds of places in Japan. Yeah. For all of you weirdos out there. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'd ever want to go to a restaurant themed around toilets and door poop, but I'm sure there are probably worse. If you know of any, you should tell us. What, you don't want a toilet cafe in your multi-restaurant establishment? <laughs> yeah, not the feel I was going for. <laughs> Cut.